Capricorn. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're going to do the full oracle card spread right over here on YouTube. And then we'll, I'm going to extend it and articulate it with a full, um, a full tarot card spread. I mean, sometimes I use the whole deck. <laughs> I just go to town. Um, and of course, that also includes your romance predictions. Also, right above, catch your romantic tarot. That'll tell you what's going to happen like next between next week and the week after. Um, and focuses on who's coming towards you. If, if That's on the um, video on demand pages, page as well. So, yeah, let's get right into this. This is for, this is an energy reading. So understand that this could be Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Capricorn energy influences your chart, you can apply these energies to that house, right? To where it, to where it influences your chart. If it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. Don't ever push it, right? This could be associated with any one of those signs. It's an energy reading. So Capricorn, Capricorn energy. Um, it goes for about the next seven to 10 days, I would say, from whenever you watch this video. I realized how foolish it was to be putting timestamps on this because it made people feel like, oh, I shouldn't be watching this because, I mean, it's a month old. It arrives to you when it arrives to you. The, the, the energy comes when it's going to influence or affect you. He doesn't even love you. My little puppy likes to get my attention. So, Capricorn. What is the message that's coming to you today as you watch this video? Okay. All right. Oh, I love when these cards surprise me, man. Crowning your energy. There is always enough and bring a gentle touch. This is Pisces Virgo. Interesting energies to have floating around you. Today of all days, as we go into Pisces season, um, and then as we, well, you know, technically Pisces season starts on the 18th, which is tomorrow, but the retrograde has happened and it's definitely retrograding into Pisces. Ooh, Capricorn. What this is saying to me is be kind to who you are and be kind to those feelings. This is going to be an emotional week for you. That's, that's what this is saying to me. Now, emotions for you run very, very deep. And so often you hold them down, you hold them back, and you try to thunder through them with your very aggressive and progressive kind of, um, well, I'm just going to work through this. And it's one of the reasons why Capricorn is my best friend and that I admire you guys so much. But it's also one of the reasons why you come so close to breaking so often it, because you can't push through everything. This is definitely going to be a week where the best thing that you can do is be tender to yourself. Be tender to those around you. Use your intuition because you really do have it. Not everybody gives you credit for that, but you absolutely have a wonderful sense of intuition. This is also a sense of a love, some sort of love coming through, uh, a gentle love, a tender love, an energy of, of a healing love or uh, an innocent love. Maybe even an expression of love if you have an ex, either Virgo or Pisces. They could be coming back into your life. The best way to handle this is to just patience, calm. I wouldn't, in other words, I wouldn't even jump to being emotional. I wouldn't even jump to judging that, oh, they must have feelings for me. I would just sit back and let this play out. And then as you do so well, take stock review, think about it again. I mean, this is a great time to use that retrograde energy really carefully. This is a really great time to take your time with things, especially with things that make you emotional to understand what you're feeling. Do you really miss them? Or um, do you like their attention? Do you like the fact that they're back kind of begging, you know, or do, or is this is this something that, that you, or do you still have tender feelings for them? It's like, really take the time and give yourself the patience and self-respect to say, um, I'm not going to jump into this. I'm not going to rush into this and I'm not going to push through this. Now, remember, I believe that it's Mars that's enter entering Capricorn. With that kind of energy in your sign, it's almost supercharged. Right? You might have that impulse to just 
fire and push. And I love that you have that energy because it's going to be, it's a wonderful energy that kind of fills you up. Um, but I think it could also stabilize you. It could also sort of empower and soup up your sense of that dignity and that scheduled practice commitment and just sort of, sort of firm up your firmament. And that's a wonderful way to use that energy, not to try to push through or blow through those things that are softer and more tender, be understanding and be, um, open to feeling and allowing yourself to feel. I don't want you to be uber aggressive when it comes to your emotions, including making decisions, making decisions based on, oh, they're back or, oh, I still think about them. We must still be in love. I want, I just want you to be able to feel without casting an instantaneous judgment on it. Like feel without knowing, allow yourself to just maybe enjoy the feelings, enjoy the emotion or just accept it. And then, then think about it and then take your time with it. I want you to have a whole bunch of patience with this as if you would have patience with something that's young, something that's tender, something that's delicate. You know, you wouldn't like shake a baby and say walk when it's a month old, right? Does the expectations can't be that high. They have to be sort of age appropriate expectations. And that could speak to the energy of this person. Is this person immature? You have two nines here. So there's something that's coming to a head, maybe something that has been swimming around underneath the surface for a while that's finally coming to the surface. Um, I don't want to necessarily say it's clarity, but it, I think it's healing. That's what I keep getting out of these two energies coming together. Lots of healing. Something that, something that, I love you, Zuzi. You're my baby girl. My dog, my dog is healing energy for me. But something that is a very healing energy that you ooh, particularly, I feel like will benefit you, will benefit you this week. These two cards came upside down and they tell me a lot. So time to collaborate is upside down and now is a lucky time is in reverse. So this is an energy of sort of um, a missed opportunity, not a missed opportunity, uh, a missed connection like a, a missed, a missed, yeah, like you didn't connect with somebody. Um, something didn't come into fruition, maybe lack of fertility or uh, inability to conceive that kind of energy, or maybe it's just a, a, a missed, like a, like a, like a bad timing, almost like a, a missed connection. That's the best way to explain it. This is an energy of feeling a little bit of melancholy, but understanding, I think there's an acceptance this week of there's just something that's sort of one step off between you and somebody else, not being able to get on the right page, not being able to sync up schedules, not being able to communicate. Uh, communication's not going to get better for a while, FYI. And that could be what we're feeling here is this Mercury retrograde energy because Virgo, this is a Virgo energy, is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is in retrograde. So but Mercury is retrograding in Pisces and these two energies are working to really sort of um, working the hardest, I think, on you right now. That's your crowning energy. And it's just understanding what it means to be a Capricorn going through a Mercury retrograde in Pisces. Pisces is a, is a very different sign for you. It's a very different energy. It's illusionary, sometimes delusionary. It's very dreamy. It's, it's what you might consider chaotic. Um, but simultaneously, there's so much to learn while you're here. And I think that the primary lesson is how to trust and how to let things happen and how to feel a flow, but also understand the integrity of that flow, that it's not just random. And it's that, that connecting with it through faith is not just like, in other words, you now have a wonderful and unique opportunity to learn somebody else's language that makes any sense. And this is, I think, going to help in this circumstance or situation where there was a missed connection. There was this lack of ability to, to um, make things happen or make things work. Interesting. We have a lot more to read, so we're not even halfway there yet. I'm just starting the reading.
four plus nine is 13, three, four, four, okay, energy of four. There's this shift or change. I feel a strong um, pull toward, it could be you emotionally missing somebody or feeling a very strong pull toward or, or them feeling a very strong pull toward you. I just don't know how reliable the connection is going to be. That's what I'm saying. And that's why I don't, I even love you, Zez. I don't want you to get too hyped up. Be playful. There you go. Six plus, uh, five plus one is six. This is an energy of love. But stay shallow. Stay in the shallows. Um, try very, very hard to. I really do have a feeling like you're gonna, it's gonna be really easy for you to get sucked under. Want to sink in. It's almost like you really just want to sink into somebody right now and have them keep you warm. And I think people think that Capricorns don't feel this way and that's just a bunch of BS. Um, this is just that energy of please stay on the surface. Please stay in the shallows. Stay on the sh stay in the shallows as quick uh, as as long as you can. Why? Because that will keep you safest, and that will keep you in control of you, so that you can get a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. It's like you can now choose your depths if you start just just playing in the shallows. There also might be this temptation to keep things too shallow, to pretend like you're not feeling what you really feel, feeling the sadness or the associated um, frustration that comes from that disconnect with this person that seems very special to you. Um, things are coming to the surface. They are. It's almost like this bird is splashing underneath to get the fish. It wants, it's like it's calling out those emotions. It's time for these things to come to the surface. But understand that it's not just you. It's the person you were dealing with. Central energy. So this is a card that even in its reverse position still maintains miracles. The miracles are endless. This is Taurus energy. It's not as grounded as it would be if it were upright, but this is your central energy, meaning that you are open and vulnerable. Uh, a cup that's waiting to be filled. It's not necessarily an empty cup, though I do feel like you're demonstrating the need. It's, it's very obvious. It could be very obvious to this person as well that you have a need to be filled, a need to be understood. Um, and there are going to be these opportunities, people making you an offer. I don't know if the people making you an offer, however, are the people that you're really interested in. So even though, yes, you will get offers, um, I don't know if they'll be the, from the right individuals. Hmm. Which just means that if you watch your romantic tarot energy, it could just mean play, have fun. It could actually help fill you up more than you even realize that you needed. Like that kind of energy of just being, being sh not shallow as in, you know, dirty and sh you know what I'm saying? But like, but like, Keeping it fun, keeping it playful, not taking things too seriously, getting involved with somebody that you don't take too seriously. It could be just what you need right now. Why, you ask? It's like, it's like putting salve uh, or some sort of, you know, um, some sort of healing ointment on a cut. You know, really the salve doesn't heal the cut. It just makes a protective layer on top. 
um, so that it's easier and it doesn't keep getting infected or more infection or um, like the body itself doesn't have to fight away more that's coming in. It kind of like makes that protective barrier. It's like a Band-Aid. You know, the Band-Aid doesn't really heal a cut and you can't depend on it for permanent help, but it does help for a while. It does help to keep the area clean and keep the area safe so that the body can go to work and not have to worry about reinfection, you know, any kind of new infection or any kind of dirt, you know, it's like, it's, it's minimizing any kind of new hurt or pain. So this, this shallow opportunity is sort of like a band-aid. And I, as long as you go into it, understand, and I know I can already feel it. You don't want a shallow connection. You want the deep connection. And now, once again, this does have severe, <laughs> ser not severe, serious romantic undertones, but it could also be about that fulfilling position that you've been waiting for, that job offer you've been hoping for, and not getting the attention from the companies that you want, right? But at the same time, if you need a job, you need a job. So as long as... Hold on. So it doesn't have to be just about romance. This is about what really gets you, what's really important to you, what's filling up your heart space, your heart space, um, what is important to you, right? And so it could just very well be, hey, this is patchwork. This is patchwork. That's all it is. We get it. We know it. And as long as you know it and you take note of it, make it a part of your inventory and say, this is just patchwork. We're going to have to go back and go deeper when we're ready, when we have the resources. But right now, we need to work on filling up this cup. Okay? It almost seems like in some ways the resources are low, but they're prepared to be filled up. Um, reclaim your power. This is recharging yourself and filling up your energy. The energy of 4488 is infinity. It's also destiny. This is um, sort of the ebb and flow of your life, a period that you had to go through to remember how it is, almost sort of just take back what was taken from you, replenishing that energy source, replenishing those resources, getting that back and feeling stronger, getting your place yourself back to a place of feeling strong and not really judging yourself or condemning yourself for the ways in which you do it, okay? Honestly, I don't care if you completely play hooky and go away and smoke weed on an island for weeks. I don't care. I don't judge you. Whatever you need to do right now, and no, I'm not trying to encourage drug use. I'm just saying that whatever you need to do right now to keep it light and to allow yourself to heal underneath because that's what you really need time for, that's what you prioritize. Time to heal. And wow, 55, the energy of 10, the energy of something coming to a completion and also the energy of change, of changing your perspective, changing the way that you talk to yourself, changing this way of, um, changing this way of using your energy because this is also a kundalini energy card, that sort of snake that sits and twists deep down in your gut, right? And it waits there. It's all, it's powerful. Some people consider it a demon, but it's not. It's just this pit and core of super powered energy that you own, that you get to use to help you out. And I feel like it's going to be stirred. And it's like, how is it going to be stirred? Is it going to be, are you going to let somebody get to you? Are you going to let somebody like make it fire off and go out of control? Or are you going to sort of be that, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, like hypnotizing it, calm it, be, be active, be something for it to focus on so that you can direct that energy where you need it. And you need it in your gut right now. You need it to not be wasted. You need it back. You need this energy back. You need the fire back. And I think you're getting this fire back. I think Mars is going to help you reclaim that those bits and pieces of yourself that you may have lost over the past few months because of emotional strain and emotional heartache. And it sounds really odd that you might get that back during a Mercury retrograde, but it's coming. Life is speeding up. 
Do you see these like double helixes is suddenly things are starting to come together and make sense. You're going to be able to make progress. You'll be able to make progress. Like I said, not by ignoring this, not by ignoring this energy, but by holding on to it and not giving it away, but by pacing it and you being the one that directs that energy flow instead of it being in reaction to something else, just step by step, little by little, and allow yourself to say yes to opportunities that allow you to collect and, and bring in more and more because that's what you need right now. You need to be filled. This cup is sitting here waiting to be filled. Oh gosh, Capricorn, think on your feet. Not time to plan too far ahead. This is uh, Sagittarius energy, more fire energy. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is also hanging with you all year this year. So trust it. Trust, trust that fortune is working in your favor. And I know it doesn't feel like it, but it really is. Don't plan too far ahead. I don't, I don't, it's almost like this is the playful energy. This is the improvisation energy. This could also be sort of a trickster energy. Somebody coming in that's meant to, um, to, um, <laughs> um, Somebody that's coming in to meant to sort of bring your fire back, rev you up, but not be taken too seriously. This is like a right now energy. Miss, like it would be Mr. or Mrs. right now um, or employer or employee right now, not a forever, but that's okay. Take it. Say yes, because then there's this energy of receiving. And the more and more fire you can hold on to, the more and more you'll be able to refuel yourself. Um, you can come overcome any obstacle. Now you're getting more into that stabilizing energy of change, of getting back and feeling your power and feeling this earth energy grounding you again and pushing you forward and really getting your bull back on and your horns back out and being able to sort of get, get your ram on again, your sea goat on to be able to push forward. You're going to feel a push of energy this week is what I'm saying. Um, time for a beginner mind, maybe defensive, but I think that, um, this is just a restart. It's a hard restart for you. Four plus eight is 12, three hard restart. It's the timing is right. Getting back into balance with yourself. This is usually my, maybe being a little bristly, uh, card, but, um, I don't think this is bristly toward other people. I think this is conserving your energy for you. And making damn sure that everybody knows that you're all about you right now. Use your mind wisely. When pigs fly. This is my when pigs fly card. I love this card. Why? Because it's basically the impossible is happening. You know, something that you thought would never happen is happening. This is all the reaction of, I think that the past couple of months have been very emotionally trying for you. And you almost forgot how it felt to feel good about yourself again and feel that fire in your gut and feel that passion. You're going to start to feel that come back to you this week. And it could be because of some sort of shallow encounter or temporary position that helps you a little bit. Let it help you. Go ahead. Emotional stability and security, realizing that you are stable, that this, this is long-term, long-term investment. This is, it's not about winning the race. It's not about running the fastest race. It's about enjoying the race that you're in. And that's part of how you take back your power. Six plus two is eight. Once again, destiny and infinity, which means this is a lesson that needs to be learned. Something that you really needed to learn, get through your hard shell, right? Or thick skull and, and learn it and allow yourself to be very, very comfortable with all the emotions that are floating on around you. And I really do. I almost feel like you're somehow going to use that as fuel and look at this beautiful energy come through. Freedom is yours. Being liberated from some sort of heartache or love ache or love condition that was keeping you down or hurting you. You're going to get resolution this week, Capricorn. 100%. Let me flip the camera angle around so we can discuss. I will say this. It might surprise you how little you care when somebody you thought was the world to you comes back into your life to make this resolution or to get to reconcile. It might surprise you that what you feel is actually happiness to be away from them. 
And it may be this shallow encounter that's going to help you. Shallow encounter, what do I mean by that? Well, if we're talking about work, it should just be, it could be a temp position. It could be, you know, a six month freelance job. You know, it could be, um, it could be contract work. You know, when you're looking for that next CEO position, it, this may not be exactly what you want, but hey, it's going to refill your coffers. It's going to fill the, it, it's going to fill up those cabinets. It's going to be what you need right now. And you may actually enjoy it. And it's something that you don't have to, you don't have to take that seriously. It's only a six month investment for you. That's nothing. And you could probably do this work halfway sleeping. So that's what I would suggest is that just don't do things that are going to drain your energy because your purpose right now, really what you want to focus on this week is re refueling yourself. So don't take, don't, don't look for any commitments that are going to be, that are going to drain you. I doubt that there are going to be any commitments coming towards you that will actually be some sort of long-term, perfect, everything that you've ever wanted. I doubt that, I doubt that a great deal. I don't think those are going to come through for a few weeks. But there are opportunities bit by bit to continue to fuel your fire. And listen, don't take them that seriously. They're meant to burn. They're meant to fuel your fire and you're meant to go on to find something else really quickly to fuel your fire. And this includes if you're talking about romance. Oh, sorry about that. Any kind of encounter with a potential lover. Let them come back and refuel your fire. Let them come in, but don't take them seriously. Don't. We're going to get deeper into this with your uh, full tarot spread as well as your romantic predictions. I'll see you guys over in the extended.